The liquid penetrant process, whether visible or fluorescent, is used for non-ferrous parts, such as titanium, aluminum, anything that does not contain iron and cannot be magnetized. There are multiple methods to do the fluorescent penetrant inspection. There's method A, which is the water washable method. There's method B, which is the lipophilic method in which we use an emulsifier to remove the penetrant. And then there's a method D, which is the hydrophilic, which is the multiple step process. I want to show you the water washable process. The cleaning process will remove any excess oil or braces or any contaminants that are on the part so that your penetrant will do a much better inspection. The next step in the penetrant inspection process is to coat the part in penetrant. This can be done by either dipping the part into a tank of penetrant, applying it by just pouring it on, spraying it on. There are multiple methods in order to get the penetrant on the part. So you will coat the part or the area to be tested in penetrant. And then we will let the part dwell. Normal dwell time is anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, but the, dwell, the specific dwell time will be in your process instruction. Once the part has dwelled for the required period of time, I want to spray off the excess penetrant. Please note that the water I'm using is rated to a certain pressure and certain temperature range as dictated by the ASTM standard. Once I have rinsed off the excess penetrant, I want to check it under black light to make sure I have the excess penetrant rinsed off. And then I will place it in a forced air dryer. All the dryer does for us is to dry off the excess water. We're not trying to physically dry out. We do not want to dry out the penetrant. So I do not want to leave it in there any longer than necessary to dry off the excess water. After the part has been dried, we're now ready to develop the part. We use a developer on the part to wick out the fluorescent penetrant that may be in indications. So in this case, I'm using uh, ZP4B dry developer powder. We coat the part in developer powder, and again, we have a dwell time involved. Once that dwell time is done, and then we'll, we will inspect the part underneath the black light and look for indications. And then you will clean the part once you're done and proceed on as your process uh, specification dictates.